Down in the village, this is our local telephone exchange forward slash junction box and you're wondering what it has to do with big welding. Well, I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Yeah, back from the village here and we're back to our shed, man, cave, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there you have it. That's our pull the shed welder to the shed door at the sunlight. That's our silly super mic. Right, what I want to talk about is why we're in the village. Inside our telephone junction box, you have these things here. Silica gel bags there for absorbing moisture. Now, you buy sometimes you buy electrical goods from a store, shop or whatever. You get wee small silica bags inside the box. Maybe it says your thumbnail. These, that's what these are for, absorbing moisture. So I bought these here. I bought them from where you get this outfit here in the UK. I get focused. Yeah, bought a bag of five for less, less than tenner. And I put three of them in here now. These will do all summer. Hopefully, we're going to have a dry summer to absorb moisture, moisture. And as you know, MIG wire do not mix. Cause rust and rusty wire do not work in my welders. Just while we're in here, yeah, paper clip and a scotch braid cloth. Wrapped it over a few times and MIG wire run through the middle. As the MIG wire runs through the middle of this, it will catch dirt, whatever, debris. Every little helps to keep your MIG wire clean. So, if you're new to MIG welding, just or like myself, a hobby enthusiast, don't do a lot. I would advise to get these here. I'm going to give them a go anyway and see how it goes. Everything to keep moisture down in your welder. If you're working in a shed, sheds jump damp during the winter months, this should help. So if you like the idea, give me the thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos in the future, please subscribe. So anyway, at the moment, take care. Bye bye. Adios.